Hi everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel if you're new. I've got my little boy Tommy here with me today. Say hi Tom. He's just about to tuck into some what's it. It's the first day that it's been really warm. I think it's going to get up to 18, 19 degrees today, which is amazing. But I don't trust the weather because it's not been very nice to us this year. We've had hail and frost and freezing cold weather for far too long. I looked back at some of my vlogs from this time last year, literally the same week, and I already had sunflowers that were up to my knees and I already had all the pumpkins out and all the other things out. And this year we're like, we're probably about three weeks behind where we were last year. But enough is enough. I'm gonna start planting out now. I've just had enough. Um, and I'm gonna start getting my things, bits and bobs out. So I brought lots of plants with me today to plant out. So it's gonna be a nice day, I think. Oh, a little bit windy, but it's all right. <laughs> hey, what have I got with me today? Well, very exciting. Two runner bean plants at home, and this is the moonlight version. So they're gonna have little white flowers. So I've got two runner beans, which are desperate to go out. The others have gone out in my back garden already. Courgettes, which are starting to sort of burst in their pots, need to come out. I've sowed three courgette plants but, um, and pumpkins as well, and I did label them, but this one lost its um, label, um, as did another pumpkin. So this might be a pumpkin. I'm hoping it's a courgette. It does sort of look like a courgette, so I'm hoping, but then it also looks like a pumpkin. So that could be a courgette or a pumpkin, and that will be really interesting to see what grows. <laughs> label your plants properly, people plants because I planted too many at home and I thought I'd stick some here. Oops. My plants are definitely not as big as they were last year. When I was putting these out last year they were absolutely massive. Um, and this year they're probably about half a size. So I don't know if that's if you're experiencing this too. I sort of feel like all my seedlings haven't got to where I sort of wanted them to get to and I don't really know why because I've grown them all indoors like normal so I don't know but I'm going to start whacking them all out now because I just want to get some stuff out. Right this is my three sisters bed which means I'm going to have hopefully sweet corn fingers crossed if i can get the damn stuff to grow um courgettes and runner beans in this bed so courgettes are quite big plants i'm thinking about when sweet corn is going to go as well in a grid like that all right yeah so courgettes are quite big plants i know this from experience so i'm going to sort of plant them in a row one two three like that i think Hopefully, by doing that, I can have the sweet corn then dotted around it in a grid. I don't think I'm going to get that much sweet corn. I'm sort of thinking I might have to go and buy some, to be honest, and I'll try and get eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine, eight, nine in a grid. Anyway, they're going there. Right. Oh, God, that was a bird. <laughs> scared me. Birds are attacking me now. Standard standard practice at my plot. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I'm just going to whack these in and hopefully they will live. I've got to look around and think where I want Cosmos to go now because I don't want it to block anything up as such. This is my flower bed, but I don't know. I might actually I stick a couple in my flower bed. Um, yeah, one, two in my flower bed, and then maybe some at the front of the plot, I think. I think I'm just going to whack it anywhere, to be honest. <laughs> there goes that argument. I like Cosmos. I think it's beautiful. So It does grow really big, but it doesn't grow really big until later on in the season. So I'll do two at the front and two in my flower bed. sporadic but I'm just thinking cosmos is a massive Mom, massive plant this? oh um right let's water these ones so give the, each one a little bit of a water a bit lovely and then the next one you might need to come around here just these three just these three these ones are just planted you see 
beautiful. Yeah, Cosmos is a massive, massive flower, so I'm just thinking, and the dahlias get really big as well. Gladioli don't take up as much room. I'm thinking there, then dahlia, then dahlia, then dahlia, and then there. Anyway, we'll whack them in. They might die. They might not even make it that long, we don't know. More little gladioli is coming up. They're all coming up now. I think it's the warmer weather. Daly is doing really well. There he is, looking very happy. And this little daily, oh, what a blooming egg! Look at him. He's massive. Wow. And look, even he's growing now. Look at this. That's a weed. He can bugger off. But look at this. Beautiful. It's always the plants that I think are like dead um, or won't grow that actually grow the best. I think they try and do it to prove me wrong, but I'm quite happy with that to be honest. I'm going to leave them uncovered now for a bit. They're doing so good, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, this one is just like magical. Look at him. He's just showing off now. sunflowers here like I said this time last year I had sunflowers that were up to my knee like this tall and this year they look like that <laughs> I mean they're getting there they're getting there I'm just wondering if I should just whack them out in the ground you know I'm gonna go against my better judgment as I usually do at this plot and sometimes it works for me I'm just gonna whack them in now <sighs> I know they're not that big but I just, I'm just going to whack them in because you can plant the seeds now in the ground so I'm sure they'll be alright. I've got to get rid of that massive cabbage now. I left it there as a sacrificial vegetable to the slugs and snails and I hope that if I left them something over the winter they'd leave me alone. It didn't work, by the way. <laughs> That's not good logic but it worked in my mind. Right, I've got to get rid of it now. Seems a shame. That didn't all go to plan but I've been meaning to get rid of some of this chard here because it's sort of taking over a bit and I think this is a good spot for sunflowers this year so I'm going to put all the sunflowers in here um, hopefully that stays at bay I've got Californian poppies but I think I'll leave them they'll be all right wow look at the roots on him he's got loads of roots maybe that's why he's not growing anymore root bound is this another is this another thing? No, these are sunflowers. The roots on these sunflowers, considering that they're not very big at all, are crazy. Maybe that's why they're not growing that well in the pot. But yeah, there we go, sunflowers out. So sorry about bloody crows. Got to get involved, didn't they? Yeah, sunflowers out. That is very exciting. I'm just ready to get the plot growing now, to be honest. I've just had enough of all this waiting around. What's up with all the birds? It's like bird day. No, National bird day at Emma's plot. So sure the birds get near me. Look, Tom, there's a robin up there. Can you see him? Right, these, um, oh, there's a wood pigeon. God, it really is bird day today at the plot. Look, he's looking at us now. National bird day at Emma's plot. Um, these broccolis that I've let flower are absolutely humming with bees now. There are bees everywhere. So I'm going to plant my cosmos in between them because soon they will have to go. Um, and then hopefully the cosmos will take over for the bees because bees love cosmos too. I want to keep you guys happy. 
Are they all gone? <laughs> as soon as I go to film them, they all disappear. Where are you all? Relax, relax. Ah, bees. <laughs> ah, bees. <laughs> Bloody bees. Right, I've got the cosmos underneath here, so hopefully when I have to finally yank these things out, unfortunately, we'll have cosmos growing. Right, little tiny mini tour. We've got the cosmos in here, sweet peas, dahlias and gladioli. Everything's growing, everything is alive. This bed is alive. This bed is empty. <laughs> Miscellaneous bed. This bed has got my broad beans. These are doing fabulously. Parsnips and um, what's the other thing that's in here? Oh God. Radishes, sunflowers, chard, uh, spinach under there, supposed to be under there. Pumpkins, pumpkins, garlic, courgettes, runner beans, sweet corn, hopefully, tulips got my cabbages oh they don't look very good carrots load of stuff that I've let go to seed strawberries zinnias don't know yet I'm just going to sit and chill for a bit of my giant cabbage <laughs> which was supposed to be for slugs and snails like I said but they just didn't take to it so I'll take it home and eat it now I guess I hope you enjoyed the vlog today if you did do give me a subscribe give me a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know if you're planting anything out or if I've been really crazy and just done it too early but I can't wait any longer I'll see you next time guys thanks for watching bye